Uh-huh. Well, uh-huh. welcome to the fifth, I think it's the fifth, uh-huh. Turf and Tools podcast. I believe so. It's our first uh-huh. outdoor uh-huh. podcast. Uh, we plan to be uh-huh. indoors like we were last week uh-huh. at Store Hub, but I didn't actually check their opening hours and yeah. uh, our little new podcast studio uh, was not accessible. So we're outside in the elements today. You may hear some motorbikes in the background because they do the, the testing for that here. Um, I don't know if it's testing. I think it's just people trying to practice uh, riding. No, they test. That's oh, where they that? do it. Okay. Yeah. I, I did my test here like 10 years ago. Did you? Oh, 10. God, it was probably 20 now, actually. But, okay. Uh, yeah, if you haven't listened to this podcast before, I am Tim the Lawnmower Man. This is Karthik, Obsessive Lawny. We just talk about turf and tools, anything related to it. Just the stuff that we basically talk to each other yeah. about anyway. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, and the tools don't always have to be turf related, is there? Sometimes it's not. No, we're going to get a little bit household related at some point. Yeah. But, uh, we haven't as yet. Uh, we're also live on Instagram today, something a bit different, just maybe a little bit of uh, interaction there or feedback is good, or just uh, to sell the fact that we, we have a podcast. Yeah, I think someone, someone might have asked that, right? Said they'll be able to go live so we can ask questions. I remember seeing that comment on maybe YouTube or somewhere. I haven't seen you very active in the comments. Just on YouTube, a, I just yeah. hit like on the ones I like. It's been a little bit disappointing, mate. Ignore the ones. Someone said I got a Scottish accent on YouTube. I did see that. It's, yeah. yeah, they, yeah. Uh, well, they I, didn't say, is it a Scottish accent? They said, is it a blend of Indian and Scottish? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I've, I've been asked if um, why I've got an Irish accent before as well, funnily mm. enough. I have well, you no are, idea you, where I'm... 70% Scottish, yeah, my 30% gra- Indian? Yeah, my grandma's from the Scottish side. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> uh, what, what else been going on? How's the long gun? Uh, mine's okay. It's come back pretty well from the scalp I'd given it, from the height reset slash This is out the back, isn't it? Yeah, out the back. We're talking so, about Karthik's Tiff Tough hybrid Bermuda or, or yeah. Cooch. So yeah. the back's obviously, it's, it's that time of the season where the back, uh, the sun's already kind of disappeared off it. Mm-hmm. It's still got the heat, obviously, but it doesn't get a lot of direct sun through autumn and winter at all. Yeah. Uh, but it's come back, I think I timed that one fine, so it's come back well. I'm just considering a PGR application now to stop it, so I'll slow it right down. PGR, for those who don't know, is a plant growth regulator. So in lawn care, you kind of use that to slow the vertical growth down. Um, in summer, you might do that because you don't want to be mowing a lot, and there's a whole bunch of other benefits. You want Right you wanna, now, I'm yeah. going PGR because I plan to overseed with. Just easy on sorry, the banks, mate. We got microphones here. Um, yeah, plan to overseed with uh, rye for winter, so that way you slow the cooch down. It's not oh. competing with the rye, so to speak. Mm-hmm. I will be doing the rye. I'm just waiting on a couple of things to fall into place. So hopefully, next 20 days, maybe one of these days. Fingers crossed. Okay. I can pull my pull the. I did pin mention on it. it last podcast. I might um, come out and. I was going to say help you you just feel mainly to film, film me and tell me I've, what i'm doing wrong yeah. no i, no, I yeah. don't know what i'm doing so but uh, i know i'll get roped into throwing some sand or something like that but yeah. i don't know maybe if i get lazy i might not do the top dress and just do the seed only because then it, there's really not much to do we've got a just, question our first question here yeah uh whitey 88 says what product do you find to be the best pre-emergent do you best pre-emergent I, yeah. I don't know if one's better than the other look i what do you use per, i, guess I, I the, use um Barricade as my pre-emergent, it's probably the more pricier option, but pricier up front, but you, it comes in larger um, bottles, so you mm-hmm. pay more for it, but it's an amazing product, once How many in six liter, months. Well, I, think I, I think I had the big one liter bottle. One liter, one okay. liter bottle. It's, it's, Which look, will still last you a long time. Oh, because God, yeah. It's like have... 30 or 50 mil for 100 square meters. Don't quote me on the exact application yeah. rate, but it'll last you a lifetime. Yeah. Um, I'm not personally a big fan of the uh, foot and pre-emergent mix products out there as a pre-emergent use, so to speak. So I see like this, like Oxifert is the most common, most popular one. Yeah. So it's got fertilizer in it and it's got a pre-emergent in it. Amazing product. And I guess for, I think Oxifert's safe on like new sod as well. Mm -hmm. So if you've just put your lawn down, then it's safe on that as well, where you need to apply fertilizer. You don't want weeds to pop up. But personally, like I said, I just, I like, keeping my applications indiv- individual. So if it's fertilizer, I like fertilizer on its own. Any particular reason or just personal preference? Ah, just, just absolutely what, no logical, what you've done, absolutely yeah. no logical yeah. reason probably, yeah. It's probably just a gut I think it's lo- a, like a lot of things that I do, they're not based on like science or yeah. fact. It's yeah. just based on my personal habits. And yeah, <laughs> and I mean, look, there could be something in the background that is based in science that mm. I might have 
read at some stage and forgotten about now. Whitey but says he uh, burnt the hell out of his, out of his grass with Oxifert. Well, that would be the nitrogen in the mm. fertilizer, I would imagine, because it can't be the pre-emergent that would have burnt it, I don't think. Mm. Um, yeah, you let fertilizer onto like wet grass or if it's not watered in right and it's sitting on the leaf, yeah, it will burn. It's the nitrogen probably in the oxifert. Yeah, I don't okay. think it's a reflection on the product, to be honest. I think it's probably a user error. No, no offense, but I'm just saying something <laughs> must have gone wrong in terms of what's happened there. So you've uh, scalped it, it's recovering from it. It's starting to cool off a little bit, hey? Oh, definitely. Um, it's, I this actually, week, like I've had a couple of evenings where I'm like, oh, it's a little bit of a yeah, I, I chill think, I actually think autumn's like turning into my favourite season right now. Mm. Like, I love autumn and I don't know, there's just something. It's perfect for that grass where it's not growing too fast, mm. but there's just enough growth in there as well. Uh, but it's definitely cooled off. There's a few warm days in there. Yeah. But you can feel it early morning and late evening yeah. where the temps are definitely starting to drop. Plenty still for grass to be growing yeah. temperature-wise, but it's starting. You, you know the winter's around the corner. Yeah. I haven't done anything with mine this week apart from mow it. I, well, today I really should give it some liquids, some liquid mm. furts and that sort of stuff just to make it pop. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the Grange is looking a little... It's still... It looks fine. It looks really tidy, but it just... Um, as I've said before, I don't do a lot with it. I don't throw much on it. Um, so I'll, I'll put some some on it and see if it gets it a bit of instant. Well, if colour. you give it if you give it something now, I, mean, I imagine you don't have to do anything yeah. again till spring next, basically, right? I did paint it last winter. Um, oh, okay. Did it did it, it look all right? It, so um, was that just to yeah, test so the it, paint? It it, it 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 like fades out. It's not like. It didn't go like full brown from memory. It was just more like a f really faded look about it. And then I, I painted it once just because I had the stuff there to try. And that just hung around for ages because there, there wasn't any growth as well. That, that's where the paint's going to be better yeah. when you have slow growth on dormant grass because it's not like growing yeah. out of we, it. We've come, we've come far, right? When we first met, we probably would have called painting lawns cheating. Yeah, I remember. remember? And, and I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, Char... Char Chijai, I think I said that correct. My two favourite lads on Instagram. Thank you. That's Ooh. very, very kind of you. No one's ever said that to us. <laughs> we don't even like each other. Uh, Whitey forgot to water. That's why the Oxifert, obviously. Uh, yeah, that would burn it, yeah. yeah if there was any dew on top, if it was wet already, that would burn the grass. Yeah, back to the, the lawn paint. Um, I, I actually remember this was prior to me doing any, any social media stuff and just having my own lawn that I, um, you know, like to keep mint in that. Yeah. and. It was back in the day where, you know, the lawn porn... Um, kicked off. Yeah, that, that uh, Facebook page was pretty big. And I remember, you know, and I, I know now because it's like I get companies coming to me all the time going, hey, do you want to show this? And I'm like, oh, it's something different, yeah. Well, I'm happy you mean, to do different stuff You mean now. with the lawn paint? Well, with anything. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. Which so is I remember yeah. back in the day... He was showing some some of that, and I remember he was getting dragged in the car. That's okay. cheating. That's blah blah blah. Yeah, for a lot of people, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I know. But it, I, obviously, I'm on the other side of the fence now because now I just look at it as anything different. I'm interested in because I, yeah, yep. I make the same sort of videos all the time. We're talking about grass, cutting grass. So anytime I can try something different, I'm interested. Whether it be absurd, the more absurd, the better. Just because it's it's interesting to try <laughs> yeah, out. Hundred percent. Yeah. I can actually see. Um, some use case scenarios for Absolutely. the lawn paint Absolutely. that I previously couldn't. Yeah, and I mean, um, given, I think one of the biggest ones is obviously we don't want to be putting chemicals willy nilly on our lawns. Yeah. But most, I think pretty much any brand I know that does the lawn paints, they're all organic. Mm. Like literally, I don't know any brands. Organic and non toxic are two yeah. words that are. What does that actually mean? Well, <laughs> look, <laughs> we can only go with what the label says know, in the know, end. We're not scientists, we're not experts. No. So if if. They're, they're telling us it's biodegradable. They're telling it us it's organic. It all sounds organic. When they say organic and non-toxic, Let's not get into the fact that it comes in a plastic bottle anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, of course, we, yeah, yeah, we're not scientists, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, so that's your Grange. Kaikuyu. Yeah, that's um, looking all right. The Kaikuyu is it's just going. No, okay. it's just it, there. it is what it is. <laughs> um, and the the tiff out the front, it's it's at that point where I, I feel like it's, it's peaked because I didn't, like... I didn't fuss and fuss over it. You mm. know where it gets to that point after you've scalped it and, it and it's come back and you get that, you get like that week or two where you're like, this is... Absolutely loving it. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. then 
it just it goes over that tipping point yeah. and from there you I know, think you're raising the height slowly yeah. and I think if you've got diffed off anyone and your cylinder moving and stuff get a groomer there's yeah. literally that's like that that feeling after a reno when it's at its peak mm. the only way to maintain that without having to do a reno all or, or a height reset all the time groomer that's the yeah, only I way agree. Yeah. yeah if you can groom I mean, if you can groom before every single more, go for it. A light yeah, groom. Love it. A, a light groom. Yeah, yeah. You just nip, I don't just, know if you're like me, though. I always get carried away and I'm like, a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, and then... You go too far? No, yeah. I think with a groomer, like, and you've got a proper groomer, not like, I'm, I'm not talking a scarifier used as a groomer. Yeah. But an actual groomer. Um, that temptation isn't as much to just go a bit deeper, so to speak. I, but, find, yeah. I found from what I had previously with my TIFF at my old place, this is like 10 years ago when I had a Scott Bonner groomer that I made up, when I say made up. You had TIFF 10 years ago? Oh, sorry, not 10 years ago. When, when would it have been? Um, I was at Kellyville, so... It was when it, when it was released. released. Yeah, yeah what, in what, Australia. What was that, like 2017, 18? I don't know, because I, I wasn't into lawn care at the time. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think yeah. it was somewhere around there. Anyway, yeah. it was a few years ago now. Um, and... Yeah, I was I was always afraid to go too hard pre- on it because I'd previously had buffalo, and any time I did a, a height reset, I'd be too scared to go too aggressive. And I had a mate at work that got me into it. I saw his lawn yeah. once and walked on it, and you're like, oh my god! And it was, you know, just nice firm surface, short cut, and you're like, oh, that's the dream. And then he'd tell me every, you know, coming into spring, he's like, you just got to cut it back. You got to go right. No, you got to yeah. go right to the dirt. Yeah. Send him a photo, and it's like, have I gone hard enough? And you're like, nah. nah but I still done. couldn't bring myself to do it because you just like, it just it does, your brain. Oh, that first reno is so scary. Yeah. Because you fussed on it so much since you've spent mm. money, put it down, and then everyone's telling you scalp it down to dirt, and you're like, yeah, it's such a nerve wracking time that first renovation. Illawarra Lawney says hi, hi Illawarra Lawney. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I, and I found that I, because of that, because I wasn't aggressive enough um, in the renovation, that then for the whole season, you know, I was cutting higher and would be the, the turf would be thicker yeah. than ideally I would like. And then I had this groomer, but it was kind of useless on... Did you have a Scotty groomer, did you say? Yeah, okay. yeah. this was prior to I was gonna like say, yeah. even the Scott Bonner um, Facebook okay. group. Okay. Like this is when you had to get information from um there was a forum yes that's right i, I remember I, that one i can't um, remember outdoor king i think it was yes yeah yes. That, that was, there's a lot of info there still yeah but i think now it's just but easier now, to access on facebook yeah now you can get it yeah on facebook and there's the amount of parts that are available now that yeah. you've got access to is unbelievable um enough about our lawns we've got a giveaway we've got uh there's t- this game's been out for a couple of years now billy bob's even billy Billy Bob Bangers there. I used to work with him. <laughs> oh, did you? Um, this game has been out for a couple of years now, Lawn Mowing Simulator. But there's uh, two new versions of it. Uh, this is the Switch version, which we've got two copies to give away. I feel like uh, Molly Meldrum or... Didn't, Darryl, this, uh, didn't this go off during lockdown, I think, right? It went absolutely bonkers there. Uh, I tried it pre-release, like 20... It, it was around there. Yeah, yeah. so it started, as sort yeah. of everyone had a giggle about it, and then it actually did really well, I remember. Yeah. So this is the Switch version, which has just been released, like the physical Switch version. Nice. Uh, we have two copies of that to give away. Uh, I'm going to go through anyone that gives us a five-star review on the podcast on Spotify, Apple, Google, wherever oh, they are. Any of them? Cool. I'm, so I'll go through all the uh, five-star reviews and uh, do a random draw out of them. We'll announce it in the next video. So if you are in the next video, we'll announce it, the winner winners in the next podcast so if you give us a five-star review you are in the running to win that um there we go illawarra lawny gets it molly from hey hey it's saturday that might be pre your time in australia is it uh i know of hey hey saturday hey, hey it's saturday i never got the I, yeah <laughs> didn't I, didn't gr- I didn't grow up with it yeah. i didn't get the reference and i don't get the hype around it either <laughs> so i haven't well, it's it doesn't really translate well to um 2024 yeah exactly um, so yeah the switch version we've got two copies to give away five star reviews on any podcast services only if you want to give us a five star review too have you, have you actually figured out what that reviews mean or no how i haven't no, i haven't about. but everyone seems to ask for them you ask for them so okay. i'm like yeah. we should probably try and push for, ask for them as well people to follow our podcast and uh give, give us, us a review, review because yeah. it's probably going to help us but yeah. 
Um, it doesn't really matter because we're not paid to be here. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> not a massive financial incentive or anything. So uh, the, the vlogs are here. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll go back to the, story, the question about the vlogs in a second. But um, the other version of this lawn mowing simulator game that just released this week is the VR version, lawn mowing yeah, simulator VR. Right. That'll be so much fun, I reckon. Which was the reason why I bought a VR headset just to... <laughs> show the game yeah um and i just haven't had a chance you haven't actually to do played it this with week it? Is it? i had i had a five minute play with it okay I, i'm just i feel like i'm too impatient for video games these days like i start it and uh, you know whether it be any sort of video game it's yeah. like oh they want to tell you this big backstory and I, oh I, you don't want the tutorial none of that no, you just want to get right get, into let's it let's get in there <laughs> throw me in there let's do it i don't skip 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 yeah skip. i don't want to yeah. have to do that so i'll have some videos on the um vr version because i can screen record that while i'm using it karthik you guys see i don't that think happen? you understand the importance of audio on a podcast mm. There you go. Um, yeah, so, so I did have someone ask, uh, Lachlan, bring back the vlogs. Still have the vlogs. I'm at, I was editing one just before we came here, so there will be one out this afternoon. That's just on Sunday. a different channel, isn't it? Yeah, they're on Turf and Tools now, not my main channel. Uh, and the only reason for that is it was um, uh, the YouTube algorithm is uh, very specific. Once you start doing anything different, um, you uh, it, it punishes you. So. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, it seemed to be a lot of people that were enjoying it, but it was destroying the, the views on my main, main videos. Yeah. Do you notice there's a little, little bit of wind here? I'm feeling Is that like, going to impact your audio as well? Well, I don't know. I'm tempted to chuck a sock over, over my microphone. He wants the perfect audio, perfect video oh, no, on nothing. an outdoor it's podcast. A, I've just taken the blunt stones off and I'm just literally... I don't. It should work, but I don't want to destroy the audio. Now <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to... Be here with a sock, got a on, my sock shoulder. on my shoulder. Um, yeah, so the vlogs are on the Turf and Tools YouTube channel if you are into them. Uh, I've got a more little bit of got a little bit of lawn news more that yeah. we spoke about last week. The Astralis little plot that I was. Yeah. Um, I'm trialing a like a it's nine or ten square meters. It's a garden bed basically, a, yeah. right? Yep. And um, yeah, there's a, a newer turf variety out on the market that I've wanted to try. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting... It's these guys, isn't it? Lawn Solutions. Yeah, Lawn Solutions. Astralis, it's called. Like it's a Zoysia. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Can hold that? Yeah. From what I've heard from what they've said, it's it's the kind of grass that people that would buy uh, buffalo would buy. Like I think so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's got... It's it's hardier than a buffalo because it's got the... And it's so, the leaf felt softer. Yeah, and it's not going to be as itchy or as... as yeah. Yeah. Um, so I've got that coming tomorrow. I had uh, I got a ton of eighty twenty underlay delivered. Nice uh, last week, and I've got to remember to take my leveling rake in tomorrow, and yeah, laying some nine or ten square meters, perfect little patch. You're doing it all on your own, or you got help? Uh, the boys will help me. Helping it? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. Well, that's good. No, and girls. We, well, yeah. No, they won't. They, they have no interest in it. So. <laughs> um, it's but it. Oh, it's I know, nine, it's a nine, area. nine to ten meters. I know it's ten not minutes a lot of work, area. but I'm really excited. I, I it's love not... new turf. I love getting new turf. Yeah, especially when you haven't tried it before. And a small area like that, you can like really fuss over making sure everything's perfect exactly. when you lay it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's the. We'll give it a go. Let you know if the sock works. Says Whitey. Um, yeah, that's the the news with the Zoysia. Did you say Whitey? Yeah. Is he the one that uh, yes, did his lawn? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Sorry. I thought the one that um, did the first aid course for me at work. Oh, could be. Who knows? Is it, yeah, you're right. The, um, the other thing is I want to try it because I told you last week we're looking at moving. Yeah. Uh, we, had, we, we actually made an offer on a place. Correct. And, it, oh, my God, it has been... I've, I mean, I'm sure everyone's been through it, but buying a place is just the most frustrating process mm -hmm. it's just we eventually you know agreed on money and then money wasn't even the issue like they just got to a point where they weren't ready to they need to buy another house but they either can't get finance or haven't got it and but they can't afford to let this one go till they're so yeah yeah it's, it's one of those change over yeah but it but the whole process has just been ridiculous and what they were asking us to do and the risk that they wanted us to take with our deposit was just 
yeah. unbelievable. And then you've got the agent like gaslighting you, telling you, no, this is normal. Meanwhile, I've got like my legal advice. It's going, don't do going, it. Uh, no one in their right mind would do this. Yep. On top of that, now we're looking at other places. So we, oh. wanted, we wanted that place, mm -hmm. still want it. Yeah. Um, but we're uh, waiting for... See if they'll come Better back. Terms, and basically. Well, well, yeah, we're back at the start of negotiations oh, again. It got sucks. to that point, which is, yeah. But that's why I wanted to try the Australis because I think it'd be a nice grass for the backyard there. Mm -hmm. um, in the meantime, we've been going to open homes yesterday. It is so exhausting. And I don't know if it's me, but I just get like overstimulated because you've got all these things to rush to. You know, this one's it's 11 not like, it's 45. It's not like your days are like full of uh, not, like nothing to do. You, no. It's already a full day. Yeah, so we, we squeezed all these in and then you search up to a certain price. Like, for instance, and I, you know, I know we have a lot of international viewers here or whatever, so um, you know, if you search up to $1.5 million, just I'm just throwing a figure out there, which sounds ridiculous, but Sydney, um, yeah. Sydney prices... Are, $1.5 like, million is not a lot no, in Sydney. No, that's a, yeah. a... Yeah, so... But for instance, say you searched up to that and you and you go there to this place and you go, oh, okay, what are they looking for? <laughs> 1. <I had> one, <laughs> one Well, I had one. Just We went to some acreage just out of interest to see how much it was and it was a search up to 2.25. Jesus. We get there and I go, oh, what are they looking for? He goes, oh, they're um, looking for 3.3 but they're interested in offers. <laughs> And they're, they're looking for the world, but tell us what you can afford. Yeah, I was, I was like, they wasted our yeah. time. We yeah. we drove there, went to look at this place under the the you know idea that it's under this price because they have to put a figure in the back end on realestate.com.au. Correct. When you filter it, it shouldn't show yeah. up if not. Yeah. So I think that's actually that could I could very well be illegal, I isn't think, it? Well, I, I don't know, but I'm. Tomorrow I'm going to be contacting realestate.com.au to find out if that is okay because yeah. that's about the third time that has you happened. Yeah, yeah. And it's not like it's a case of um, they want 3.3 and they're trying to show up in the 3.2 search. Like, yeah, it's a big difference. That no, is I'm, a I'm telling you, difference. I remember seeing it on the news about some real estate agent in Victoria that got hit with a big fine for misleading with the price. But yeah. that was auction related, I'm fairly sure. Uh, yeah, Not just I mean, underquoting is a, a yeah, big thing too. Yeah. I was watching a TikTok today. It was a real estate agent and they're putting the sold sticker on and it was had all bubbles through it. Never mind that. That was you know, <laughs> triggering me the fact they yeah. couldn't get it like that. Get but they're right. like, oh, we've just sold this pre-auction. Um, the guide was 2.5 million. We got well over that pre-auction. Wow. I'm like, isn't that just underquoting? Yeah. Aren't you just yeah. bragging that you underquoted? Yep. <laughs> <sighs> So, yeah, that's been a bit of my week too. So, mm -hmm. And then it's kind of like when you start looking for a house, you're looking on realestate.com. That sounds like an ad. You look, on the, right. you look on the apps and you're, um, you know, there's all these new properties because you haven't seen them before. But then when you've been looking for a couple of weeks, you've seen you them all. Seeing but, them. <laughs> but then you're doing like the, the Facebook refresh thing where you're like, oh, you're waiting for that hit for the for new, a new one, one to whatever. pop up. Yeah, yeah, and it just doesn't happen as, yeah. as often. But um, So we're in the process of getting our place not that it's not ready but just like 100 percent sale ready okay styling it a so little you're, differently you you made yeah, up your mind yeah, that you want to yeah. move we got you our, just don't have a place we got to our move finance to. ready we got our okay. agent ready to sell our place cool. um and we're just looking for something else and there's nothing wrong with my place yeah, yeah I know. it's just we're senior place is pretty good we're over the um living the new estates yep um, you just want a bit more breathing room, isn't it? Yeah. You know, the, the, the tiny, tiny blocks, the tiny, tiny setbacks, like yeah. three and a half. You live three and a half metres off the road. Mm -hmm. They're 450 square metre blocks. And I mean, this sounds, it's what I look for, but in a lot of these new estates, like people are paying big money for these places and then just not looking after them either. So I go for a walk and, um, yeah, it's just a little bit, Depressing. I know, I know. There's a lot of us feeling in, the same way. We just nice, can't move. Yeah. In a nice area too. It's not like it's. Um, you don't know, name I, an area now. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. That, yeah. No, I just. I mean, it's not a low socio-economic yep. economic area where. Yep. Um, yeah, I just don't. I don't yeah. care. So, and you see the same thing in your yep. area too. Like someone that's very, you know, house proud and yard proud, like you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you, I mean, you would think I would be looking for those sorts of lawns, but the, the funny thing is when I do go and do those sorts of lawns, I get slammed for, um, you know, helping out millionaires. Because yeah. people see these uh, brick double-storey boxes and 
assume that they're, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, they're quote unquote millionaires. I saw another TikTok. Everything comes back to TikTok. It was the other day. I was like, the me as a kid, uh, you know, what what I thought a millionaire, a millionaire was, would mean, yeah. and it's this massive mansion, absolutely. All that sort of, and then you know, twenty twenty four, and it's just this single story, bog basic, <laughs> um, you know, little brick house. And, and the funny thing is, some of our houses might not even be standing in twenty years, right? Yeah, that's the <laughs> other thing. The, yeah. the, the, the quality build of build quality, quality, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's really scary. Anyway, but anyway let's go back to Lons and... Uh, so was I boring? Well, it, it no, was, no, no. I'm just going to go and... We, we did say we're going to be in. talking about homes as well, Karthik, so it is related. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm getting my place together. I got the gurney out yesterday, the, oh, nice. the Karcher. I forgot how much battery I like that thing. Also, yeah. yeah. It's a battery-powered pressure washer. Yeah, it's I not, might have one coming as well. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we're hoping to see. Let's can't see. say anything see. yet. Yeah, no, no, I can't say anything. The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing as exciting or as powerful necessarily, but yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. Keen, keen to find out. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, I, I do know yeah. which one it is. <laughs> yeah, you probably I have do. seen it around. Yeah. yeah, maybe, yeah, possibly. Yeah, and I they did reach out to me as well, and I wanted to – I was keen to try it. Yeah. And said I would. My biggest issue is now, like, I don't want the – it's a tax liability. Yeah. If they send it to me and I use it and I make videos on it, I, I have to pay tax on it. So I'm paying to promote their stuff. So now I say to people, like, I don't want – if you've got a mower for me, I, like, I don't want to keep it. I just want to look, cover it for a month or two and, and then give it have back. It back. So, you know, with my one, look, they, they said, like, pick from yeah whatever, like, works. And obviously, like, some things I don't need at all. Yeah. Even if they're going to give it to me for free, so to speak. I don't yeah. actually need it, though. Where do I put it afterwards? What do I do with it once I've made yeah. a video? But this was like this was on there as well in the list of things. Yeah. And it's probably a platform that most people already have at home. So I thought, yeah, it's... it's maybe we're talking about something different. different. I think I, I have a feeling maybe not yet the same oh, okay. as what you're thinking. But anyway, yeah. you keep going. I'll just grab another drink. Wow, well, okay. I'll just do, do anything. Uh, sure, my coffee is done. So uh, have you got two, two got holders, though? Yeah, uh, yeah. Speaking of things arriving... Uh, I did have an arrival in the mailbox, or by courier, whatever you want to call it. I've got to grab this, so I've actually done this at terrible timing because you're not on the microphone. I need to step away. Sorry. I'm in one boot, which is awkward now. <laughs> Looks weird behind here, but this big package, which, I mean... Oh, wow. I mean, I know What's this... What's there? One more. Well, I know this is an audio platform. We've got a, a video aspect to it, um, but I'm holding a... Large. Yeah, let me hold it. Oh, there we go. That works well. Uh, it's a Milwaukee Packout uh, large toolbox, which you know what we're going to use this box for once I get this stuff out of it. As a shelf? The podcast gear. It's perfect yeah. for that. So mm -hmm. this arrives. There's a box in there. Um, I'm sure people have probably seen this because I've seen, it feels like they're sending it out to every man and their dog. So um, It's all over socials, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but there's oh. been, no, I, I haven't seen anyone actually explain what it is, I've just seen people opening this Let case. So, look, 10 out of 10 for how they're, you know, marketing their stuff. Okay. Like, you got it? You sure? Look, yeah. Trying to show off got your it. muscles. No. All right, you can put it down there. It's um, Milwaukee's new 18 volt batteries, which, uh, I mean, it's kind of confusing. Batteries are very confusing in general, I think, yeah. and only getting more confusing because these are the M18 Red Lithium Forge, which, to me, and what they told me briefly was the biggest um, benefit is the charging time. So it comes with a supercharger, dual port supercharger, which I have here, which is kind of stuck up. in there. Oh my God. The packaging is I know. amazing, I must admit. I, is it, like I said, 10 out of 10 for marketing. Like yeah. sending this out to a bunch of people, like, of course they're going to make videos on it. Um, yeah, dual port charger there, supercharger. You can charge to 80%. This is for their six amp hour batteries in 15 minutes. Um, full charge What's your finger? is 25 minutes. So, yeah, quicker so, charging. So it's 18 volt each, yeah? Each battery? Yeah, they're all. That's what the M18 M is? Yeah. yeah. And I've then, never used them in Milwaukee, so I wouldn't know, so I'm just making sure. Just make sure you're on the. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, six amp hour um, batteries. And uh, I've got another couple of questions here, which I will get to. Sorry about that on Instagram. I forgot we were live streaming. <laughs> um, yeah, six amp hour batteries. I have seen, I did a little bit of research. I didn't want to go and make a video about it until I actually understood. We can put that down if, now. I don't know you, why we're you, holding it. If like, you just want to see an unboxing video, just, yeah. There's, there's plenty around. There's plenty around. Yeah, yeah. but let's put that down. Um, 
pass me the... Where's that? Beautiful. What was I saying, Carthy? Stick that in front of that. I did a tiny, when I say research, I looked up a couple of YouTube videos and I saw some people in the States using um, power tools mm -hmm. with these and they were getting slightly more power out of their tools. How that relates to outdoor power equipment like yeah. mowers and line trimmers, I, I don't know if you'll get any more power. I, re I need to talk to them about it. It's it, it feels like, I mean, it looks like more of those traditional battery... Where's the thing? On the power tools. That, what are you looking for? The, the, the guide. The guide's right oh. there. Yeah, so the... You know, these days we're so used to the big mowers with a lot better, I guess, cooling built into them, the ego, mm -hmm. ego batteries and stuff. This feels a bit more old school, like the Makita batteries and stuff uh, like well, that. Some, I think I've got some... Super compact. I've got some of the high output ones here. So this is what I mean about how batteries can be a little bit confusing. They mm -hmm. have the red lithium five amp hour batteries. This is, I guess this is the whole range from what they're saying here. Then they have the red lithium high output batteries. And then they have these red lithium forge batteries. Mm -hmm. So... It's, so they're all five amp. They or all six work. Um, this, these ones, I believe, are only six amp at the moment. That's been released. So I think yeah. they'll have other ones coming. Uh, the red lithium high output, you get them in twelve, eight, six, and three, and then the, just the normal red lithiums look like they come in fives. Love this, the packaging. Well, yeah. Absolutely love the packaging. This could be wrong though. This, this is just a charging chart, so there's probably more options as well. Yep. I'm going to do some research on it anyway. Find out exactly what it means for and, and just, power equipment. Just to check as well, that packaging that it came in, the Packout, that's a product on its own as well, isn't it? The Packout yeah. boxes? Yeah, exactly. So they're stackable toolboxes. And, yep. um, yeah, great great design, which, as I said, we're going to use to store our podcast Podcast equipment. gear in, yeah. Uh, the other thing with them, they have resistance to oils, greases, and solvents. So I feel they potentially are more... It's probably more of a positive for people that use... Uh, like hand power tools, yeah, uh, yeah. drills, but grinders, that sort of thing. Don't their blowers take like two of these in the back? Uh, they have a dual battery blower. Blower, yeah. But I don't know what the benefit, apart from charging time, would be using these. These instead of those. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And obviously the cost is going to be more. I'll have more of that on. Uh, more info. They're heavy tools, but yeah, that that arrived. Um, you were telling me you saw something interesting. A guy was. Going oh, across that, Australia. Yeah, yeah. The, well, I was look, keep an eye, because the long news sort of little segment we do, mm. and, you know, given I'm an immigrant here as well, we always hear about this Aussie battler Scottish, stories. Scottish immigrant. Scottish immigrant, yeah. Um, these Aussie battler stories, and then that one came up, and it, I mean, look, it's probably not lawnmower or turf related, but I thought mm. the story was still sort of a good one. Yeah. Um, it was a guy by the name of Warren, wasn't it? Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm sure it was Warren. Yeah, Warren was a caller thing. Mm -hmm. um, and he basically, the gist of it in terms of this podcast was that he rode a lawnmower right on mm -hmm. from like central Victoria somewhere all the way to Canberra to meet the prime minister. 800k trip. 800 kilometer trip, yeah. But so he, he, he's, yeah, but the whole reason for it was he got diagnosed with this uh, disease that's called M motor neuron, MND. Yeah. Um, and it's like, I think it, it uh, look, we know I'm not a doctor. The the story keep, uh, was interesting because of his spirit around it. Yeah. Uh, but it's basically got very little, knowledge, I think, research around that disease. So it's, uh, uh, it's not listed as a notifiable disease, which means right, yeah. doctors don't need to notify the government of new cases. So cases aren't recorded or monitored. So, yeah, I think he's he's going for a bit more awareness yeah, no and cure, research. I think no it. cure and, like, there's... there's not really much research around why, how people get it, nothing. Mm. So he wanted to raise a bit of awareness slash sort of bring it to the attention of the politician, so to speak, yeah. and decided he'd do it by riding a lawnmower for, what was it, what did you say, eight days, nine, 11 days? I think it was 11 800 days, kilometers. But he could have done that trip in probably like six to eight hours in a car. Okay. But it was just the spirit around it. I mean, obviously him and then all along as well, he got such great reception. I think he was met at like this one town with all these other blocks. I'm assuming they're more mowing contractors because yeah. they met him with his big ride-on mowers we should have gone. Him in. Yeah, we should have yeah, gone. Yeah. You should have gone straight to Canberra. Um, yeah, but eventually. Was, so he would have had a crew or something with him, or? I think it was just his family, to be honest. I think it was like if but I he's remember not just the story, out there it was on his, his own on the highway. No, 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 no. I think yeah. he was accompanied with like by his daughter and possibly his like missus or, or some, some like he had a team with him, but it wasn't like a 
well organized like big sponsors behind him nothing he just did that on his own well he's got people talking about it so yeah 100 no, percent. No, just go, go check out the video go check out the cause because i mean he's we call everyone a legend for even the smallest favors to do but this guy sounds like an actual like absolute legend as well yeah it's, yeah it's it's for a good cause i guess yeah man that's a long and well time done, was yeah that's a long time on a eight hours on a mower I mean, eight, eight, 800 kilometers on a mower. Yeah, I, I can't yeah. even imagine that. Yeah, I tried to actually like zoom into the little videos to see if I could see what mower brand it was. I couldn't work <laughs> it out. <laughs> um, yeah, well, that's a good news story. Moving on to, I had a question from uh, Instagram, which I get. It's one of my most asked questions. What size line do you use in your line trimmer? It's kind of the most, like, mm-hmm. I, I get asked mm-hmm. it so often. And I, I, What's your default? If you have to grab one, 2.7? If I'm doing, yeah, generally, yep. because it's generally heavy stuff. It's it handles just, both. It handles light stuff and... Yeah, if it was just maintenance stuff, I'd probably go down to 2.4 because I, I just think it gets a little bit, it's a little bit more crisp. Okay. Um, Is, does, does the line size have an impact on, let's say, if you're using battery vapor snippers on how quickly it drains the battery and stuff, you reckon? Or it's not it's yeah, negligible? Yeah, obviously, the higher gauge the line, the more it's spinning around and... Okay. The more loads on it, so yeah, you're gonna. It's gonna affect your run times. Cool. Um, but yeah, I, I'd. If it was just normal at home, two point four. If you're mowing weekly, is more than enough. Mm-hmm. Two point seven. Um, you can still get in a lot of smaller machines. Not not like the entry entry level stuff. Uh, and then if it's really heavy, I've got some three point three mil round line that I use, but I haven't been using it much yeah. lately. I think for vertical edging, funnily enough, I think the the, the skinnier lines actually give yeah, you even, a nice sharper two, edge as well. For a fine leaf grass like cooch, right. yeah, I find two mil if you're trying to um, get yeah really sharp with that. But if you're edging cooch, oh, blade edger, man, I, I don't think it's hard to go past. I know rotary yeah. scissors or, or blade edger. Yep. In my opinion, anyway, but yeah, that's generally using. In most of my videos, you see uh, it's 2.7 mil round line. Nothing special about it. Uh, just dipped in water and a bit of tomato sauce. Um, I had the mow raider, which is on the back. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it is on the back of the Ute at the moment. Um, I've done quite a few videos lately with the. Do you just want to check the YouTube is still recording? Uh, it's always awkward when you're doing everything, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I've done a few videos with the Mo Raider remote. That's still going. I can tell the Mo Raider remote controlled mower, which is it's a Kickstarter project. Um, Why he says good advice. Thank you. Uh, it's a Kickstarter project, which means that uh, it's not like a, an official retail product or anything yet. It's they're they're getting backers to essentially get funding to. Um, kickstart their their business their idea, so, yeah, yeah business yeah. yeah so i've been using it and then the biggest question people have been asking is the pricing on it which it would have made sense if i had it up on the computer here um, right. it was released during the week i believe you can do the pre-orders now if you do pre-order you actually get a this sounds like an ad it's totally not but it's hard to explain how the pricing works without sounding like it's an ad yeah uh so yeah if you're an early bird Early bird pricing up to 40% off. Okay. okay. Isn't that the... Yeah, okay. I find the... Cool. I, find, I can't imagine me um, buying a Kickstarter thing or whatever because mm-hmm. I'm just like, just tell me the price. I want to buy it. Yeah. I understand why they're there and that, but it's just it's as a consumer, and I've seen it in the feedback... Um, in the groups and that people just want to know the price and where they can buy it but but you've had it for a while now you use it for a while now so any any thoughts that we haven't already it, talked about previously uh, a couple of things but i'll go into the pricing for it first which again like i'm looking for the i'm on the website it's like show me the price son tell them the price i think it was so there's a two-wheel drive so the bikes are just coming out now you might be able to hear that uh for the two-wheel drive version I think it's the full retail price is two triple nine. Okay, that's I, that's in the US or is yeah, that? US dollars. So, yeah, so not a cheap still, product. Yeah, definitely not a cheap product. Still got to ship to Australia and then yeah. Uh, I don't know if that includes shipping. No, oh. no. I mean, I, if they're gonna release it into the Australian market, they're gonna not well, sell it at the same price that they released it in the US for. Obviously. Well, I believe it is. I think that you just pay that price and they send it here. Okay, nice. Eventually, That's I know right. they yeah. would like to look at a retail footprint here. I don't know what that looks like or mm. 
finding a distributor or... Uh, okay, so there we go. The two-wheel drive is two triple nine US dollars. The early bird price is one seven nine nine, so eighteen hundred dollars. Um, probably, like you can't get around it. It's a lot of money. Yeah, two-wheel drive is the one that you were testing. Yeah, yeah. I did it. Message them this week and say, hey, I'd be keen to try the the four-wheel four drive, wheel drive. Yep. version. Um, yeah, I would really like to try that one. Because it, it's quite easy to lose I, I actually watched a video of like one of those, you know, how it starts showing up on your feed all the time of a four-wheel drive version that they've got. Mm-hmm. And it was somehow managing to still do the zero point, like the zero yeah. turn. I saw someone so, ask that question and yeah. they said, yeah, no, it's still a zero turn. It's That's got right. some I don't algorithm how, where, yeah. well, obviously it powers it that way. Yeah. Each wheel must turn a certain amount or yep. a different direction. Um, so, yeah, interesting that the, the pricing's out for that now i've still been having fun with it i actually took it out yesterday to mow uh a client's backyard only a small backyard it was, like a, in it was actually area. a nice looking lawn i saw no that. it wasn't no, no no i haven't put it out yet I, I just did it yesterday okay uh the grass was probably 20 centimeters high mm-hmm. buffalo quite spongy so i thought oh we'll give it a go here good test for it in terms of the thickness and height but not good test in that it's a, not a big open area. Mm-hmm. Um, got through it, got it done. Okay. Um, I'll probably put that video out on, on Wednesday. It'll just be like a real-time mowing video just to show people. I was talking while I was doing it just to show people how it works in real time. Because yep. as much as you can make a video, I feel like you can make anything look good in a 10 or 15 um, yeah, or 20 second yep. short video. But mm-hmm. if you're wanting to spend, uh, you know, 1800 US dollars or 3000 US dollars. Personally, I, I want to see how it is actually working yeah. um, for the whole time. So, used it yesterday. A couple of things we spoke about that I said I would like to see, and that was uh, being able to run it at high, you know, the highest RPM full time. Mm-hmm. Most, well, it has a mode like most battery mowers where they hover around at a lower RPM to save battery and then they detect that the grass is thicker and then the RPM kicks up and obviously you're using more battery like that. But I like it when it's higher RPM because um, I think cuts better, bags better. Obviously you're using a lot more battery, but like I always say, you're not, you haven't got your petrol mower and you're, you're puttering it around on low revs to save petrol, are you? Yeah. No, you, yeah. You, you've turned it up and um, it does have that mode. You can. Just can, yeah, it, there's a manual mode, full. so you can have it on one, two, three um, RPM. So I cut at higher RPM, and it was you know noticeably ate into the battery more. But this was very long grass. Okay. The other thing I noticed, I'd like to. It's got you, you, a lot of you probably haven't seen it, but it's got a bumper on the front. You know that foam yeah, bumper, which I think would get stuck in long grass, right? Yeah, exactly. It particularly when you're reversing mm. it kind it's it's hard to get back over it i'm gonna pull, oh, they probably won't like it but i'm gonna well i'm sure they won't like it i'm gonna pull it off at some stage and see how, how it, it goes without it yeah just, yeah, well, they just to try to it, test it so. but i know why it's there and it's a safety item mm-hmm. so they've been what's the word like uh someone asked what your what's your mate's name my name's karthik me might be talking about me i'm tim no no, no they asked him was oh, your okay. Mate's this name? is Karthik, obsessed um, Karthik. with Lorne. He's got his own YouTube, uh, sorry, his no own uh, Instagram. <laughs> Go check him out. Um, so they're certified or, or whatever, like safety. Mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. Well, I don't know the, the correct term, but it's, that's obviously there for that. So they can be a legitimate product correct. that ticks all those boxes. The other thing we spoke about how, is how the mower blade, and this probably explains it for a lot of the mowers that we look at, how it sits about... Oh, it's 15 or 20 mil above the bottom of the deck. deck. Yep. Which means that on the, lo- yeah. Yeah, on the lowest cutting heights, you can have your deck scraping out and it not cutting and it's a bit annoying. Yep. Um, I did ask them about that and they showed me that there's a, uh, you know, like a mock-up foot and the foot has to go under the deck at, f- I think it was 15 degrees. And still not get without, hit with the yeah, blade. So yep. obviously that's related to that and they, they understood that that was an issue, but it's like, okay, but we need to take this box. The, that, that's why the old school ones, remember, they were called toe cutters? Yeah. They were literally, because they just, yeah, it was just blade. Yeah. Um, mm. So that explains that. So it, they've thought about all this stuff. So Yeah, they've got a good product on their hands. It's it, just, yeah, like I said, the It's a very of, niche product though. 
less niche. It's the price point that'll cut a lot of people that want it out. So I think if, th and that's their challenge. Obviously, they can't just give it away. Yeah. yeah. Um, so finding that price point where they still sell enough units. Yep. Yeah. I, again, I just think it's awesome that there's companies it's, it's that are. It's funny that we sat down for a podcast. Talked about it as a joke, you as a, like just kind of like, oh, have you yeah, seen was this? That the first it's a podcast? I think yeah, I so. Think and it's just like five later, and we're thinking it's a great idea. It works. It, everything about yeah, it, it was, seems fine. I think it was the first podcast. We yeah. was, oh no, maybe the second one because we did it at night. We're sitting here, and it was like eight o'clock at night, and I'm like, oh, I got to rush home. I've yeah. got a, I've got a um, Zoom call with these people, and I'm like, it, you know, it doesn't sound real. This yeah. product. And fifth one, and we're still a talking week, about the same. But a thing, week so later, yeah. The thing was here, and I'm trying it. Yeah, it's it's yeah. kind of well, crazy. They're, they're proactive, so they've got value out of it because of that. Good. Yeah, and there's a bit of a following. Like, I, I'm still trying to work out who it's best for this machine, but mm -hmm. there's obviously interest in it because they've got a, a launch Facebook group, like the Mo Raider launch. Yeah. So group. we weren't like the first ones to find out about it, by the way. Clearly, like, like I'm just saying, like in the because again, it's a US uh, based company now. No, no. Uh, I think they're based out of Hong Kong, actually. But okay. Um, what was I saying? About Facebook group, uh, launch, yeah, something. Yeah, and there's like twelve thousand members in that group. Okay. There so you go. there's lots of interest. Yeah, whether that's just like, oh wow, that's interesting, or it's like I've seen a lot of people with disabilities commenting in there, going, oh, this would be great for me. I hope the price is low, which you know, I'm oh, sure cool. some people will be a little bit um, devastated by that. But the good thing is that there are companies willing to make these niche products or invest money in something that's outside of the box. Mm -hmm. I mean, you say two grand. That's what the pre, like well, early, early release was less than two grand. No, no, no. Or 1800 US. So you're yeah. talking the guts of three grand by the time you. What, what, like what I'm getting at was that is by no means cheap. I get that. No. But is anyone sitting at home thinking it would come out at 500 bucks or a thousand bucks? No. Well, that you would have known. I, I feel like if you use logic, you'll know it was going to come in around. Yeah. If, if it came in two grand Australian in Australia, yeah. you'd probably go, oh, that's actually reasonably priced, I feel like. Whether you can afford it is another topic, but it, I'm just kind of going, that's a decent price for it. Yeah. I, it's, I, I mean, I'm assuming that people know what we're talking about if they've listened to this before, <laughs> but it, it, it's not a robot mower it's a it's remote, a remote control. controlled mower but it's a traditional style mower so it has a 21 inch bar blade it's not like a robot mower it's got these little razor blades on them yep. like it's it's a it's a real mower um so that, that that'll give a bit more insight into what we're actually talking about i, I do often forget that we aren't just talking amongst ourselves so anymore <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, but yeah that's the the mower rotor. i'm gonna keep using it um just because it's Interesting. It's fun. Yeah, a bit for of fun. Now. Yeah. Let me know when the fun wears out, I guess. But yeah. Yeah, be the well, other I one. think the fun would wear out in the in smaller areas. Mm. I, I was still enjoying using it, but I'm just like, uh turning around in these smaller it's it's quite agile. Yeah. But turning around in thick long grass in a corner is getting a bit annoying at the time. But like if you're doing the lawn here at Store Harbor it'd be perfect, yeah. Yeah, yeah, not you know, it's not going to be the tool you, you and, choose. And but, yeah. would you, do you think would the whole? How do I put this? So like, if you look at a job and you go, I need to get it done really quickly, would it be quicker for no, you to just no, get your own mower yeah. out? I, and I did mention that in the, the video that I made yesterday, well, that I filmed yesterday, that it would be quicker if I just got my commercial self-propelled petrol and just mower push. out. Yep. Well, I push self -propelled. Yeah, self-propelled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely quicker. But okay, it, it not everything is about. How fast? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I find a lot of people are like, I could do this quicker doing X, Y, Z or whatever. It's not, not always about um, people aren't always doing this for a job and need to get to the next lawn yep. to mow for $60 oh, or whatever. That, and, like. and that's definitely not a commercial no, no, operator no, 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 product no, anyway. No. Yeah. It, maybe in a niche scenario. I had one guy say, oh, my old man helps me out mowing and he's getting, you know, Getting old one. or yeah, whatever yeah. might yeah. you know might be suitable for me and i'm like maybe in the right yards yeah maybe just for maintenance stuff and things like that but yeah. oh, big open yards where he's yeah. doing the mowing normally but you know I, I can't see it as like a contractor tool mm. that you're like oh this is a must have but they are looking at doing a robot version of it at some point okay so again i don't know what that with, looks with, like with or, the remote control feature still well i assume so left on otherwise it? what's the i don't know 
Mm. It's not out yet. Again, it's just talk about it. But okay. If there's anyone on Instagram that has a question, we are getting towards the end of this podcast. So speak now or forever hold your peace. I just but thought I'd give pay them... pay attention to the questions, all right? Well, I thought <laughs> I'd, give, I'd give them one last chance before um, we get into it. The other thing I saw this week was, um, you know, we are talking about um, little chainsaws, battery chainsaws. Correct, yes. And how the steel were first to the... Yeah, because uh, you were talking about being... the Keptec one, right? Yeah. Uh, Mask Sport Contractor or Honda HIU216 for a domestic user with a large stick Kaikuyu yard. Oh. That's your question, obviously. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. 216 or Mask Sport Contractor? We'll get to that in a second. I think like for like, yeah. Oh, we won't get to it. So we're gonna do it. it sounds like we're going to do it now. Carthage made the call. I'm just yeah. saying, pick, yeah, your, pick th- the brand you prefer. Yeah, exactly. They're going to both do exactly I, the same I job. I have used the... Um, mass ports, obviously, you've seen me. They're, they've been um, the most helpful in, and they see the most value in, hey, if we send this guy stuff, he uses it and we shows it to it, people. Yeah, there's but no would, demands around it, but right? I've been, no, but I've been using it for um, the mass port contractor for the last couple of years and I wouldn't continue using it um, out of obligation or... Because you know I'm not being paid by them. I don't even own it. It's on loan. Yeah, but you use it because it works. It does its I job it perfectly. I, yeah, I really yeah. like it. But you know the, yeah. the, the Honda um, the one six. You use that one obviously as well. Yeah, but again, good mower. Yeah, it does its job. Yeah, yeah. they both have their positives and, and negatives. I so. guess find which one's a little bit cheaper or which one's got better warranty maybe and pick uh, that one up. Well, the other thing you can look at as well if you like the Massport but you want a Honda engine like we were talking about last week, they have Massport contractor has the Bubble, um, Honda engine on one version now. Um, with the plate break, break on it, right? Plate, yeah. yeah. Uh, why do Aussies keep their grass so short? Because of climate or taste? Um, I would think taste. I think majority of us... I don't even think it's a tasting. I, I don't think, think we've ever a seen tall thing. Yeah, yeah we've, I don't think tall grass was a thing ever and then yeah. no one... Like, we now just don't like it anymore. I don't I, know. I don't know. I just feel the... the vast majority of people are like just cut it back cut it back as low as it can and it's done and then it's done for yeah people long. don't seem to think if you cut it really short then yeah. you don't have to mow again for a while that's mm. but i'm talking about the ones who do like lawn care do what do actually like lawn care not oh, not the random like, person okay. that doesn't want to mow it mm. um we still prefer it a bit shorter not i'm not talking cylinder more short even even rotary mode short yeah i'm talking that i was talking generally because i Obviously, people that mow short with a cylinder mower, mm-hmm. like that's the look they're going for. But your general Aussie with a rotary mower that's just mowing short, I feel it's just because it's like, okay, I've got to get the lawn done, cut it yeah. cut it down. And traditionally, our mowers go a lot lower than... American ones still. Yeah. yeah. So, you, you kind of lead to going a little yeah. Maybe there is actually an argument for mowing taller for people that don't like mowing a lot. Just leave your grass longer, but tidy still, right? Yeah. More taller, more or less often, because you're really cutting the tips off anyway still. As long as you're going to give Maybe. it an aggressive... Yeah. Um, It'll be nice, reset at soft, some stage. fluffy, good for I, kids. Personally, I think in between what we do and what they do in the States, I think that's like a bit of a sweet spot. Sweet spot, yeah. I see what you know they, they do in the States and it just looks very, very, like I'm going to trip over in that stuff. <laughs> but I do think that the vast majority of people here do cut it yeah. too short. Um, yeah, so I think it's a, just a cultural thing. I'll personally. tell you if there's any questions, you keep going. We cut three inch here in the States. So Yeah, I mean, we, we watch your videos, we know. <laughs> the two of us aren't fans of the height. But, yeah. the, but still, you guys, like the lines look good at the end. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, last uh, last chance for questions as we're getting to the end. But there's still um, GTA twenty six battery chainsaw. I did see a dealer had a extension for it now. Okay. So so you can reach. Yeah. That's cool. That's quite um, a good idea. Yep. Let's see the extension. Again, it just... It's I a new release product? Yeah, well, saying? I didn't know it was out. I saw okay. an extension pole. Let's have a look here. Uh, there we are. Oh, it's not as... Ex- I, I guess it's only a holder and then it's got the, you know, essentially the, the switch in it. So, it, Well, as long as the trigger's at the bottom and the tool's at the top, yeah, yeah. it does its job. Uh, I'm seeing here... I haven't heard of that store, so I don't really... Do you like the Ute or the old truck? He definitely likes the Ute. He was all the truck and the, the uh, I'll right go into quality. that in a second. <laughs> In some way, it looks like it's. This is one website, one hundred and sixty-five dollars. So you just plug the 
um, saw into it, mm -hmm. and then there's a you've got a new handle at the bottom of the the pruner extension nice. shaft. Um, that's 165 on there. So yeah, new new tool alert. Uh, what was the question? Do I like the truck or the? Yeah, do you like the Ute or your old truck? Uh, what are you gonna try to scratch it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, I mean he jokes, but. He is the amount of times that, that Karthik's been, we've been setting up here and he'll just be casually leaning back on Not the... Not allowed to touch his truck. Well, on the, the paint on the, on the, the BT-50, on, on the actual ute, and he's just leaning back. I've just had this thing ceramic coated, got it looking absolutely mint, and then he just wants to treat it like it's a, a wall in a public toilet or yep. something. So, <laughs> um, no, I do love this. It, again, like anything, there's... I don't. I think any setup is going to have its its pros and cons. The pros of this for me is it's a um, really compact setup. Um, not that the lengthwise it's actually about the same as the the small truck that I had. You get everything you used to get in the truck well, still I, on it. Equipment. I have a bit more storage here because of the Norworld tray. I've got four toolboxes on the side plus the trundle tray. Um, you know, I had the the trimmer racks on the the truck as well. I can fit. As you said, I can still fit a stand-on mower, uh, um, self-propelled mower, uh, my trim. It, like, I still fit the same amount of stuff. There's just less extra room. Yeah, so you don't, your, your green waste and stuff like that, you had a bit more room on the truck than you have on this one with all the equipment on board. Yeah, just a bit. But, I, I mean, I don't have much drama with that because if I'm taking a large amount of waste, it'll generally be a couple of days later and I just won't have the stuff on. But my ramps are just, just behind those trimmer racks there mm -hmm. and I can sit two three four of those big green bags on still there on that, and yep. then I've just got that net that I put over it so yep. it can still take quite a bit of waste if you then had to keep getting the the, the um the ride on off that yep. would be annoying but again I'm not a high volume but I, and, and obviously the payoff for all of that is you get a comfortable cabin in the <laughs> front yeah, so right around quality. around this area and that was the main driver for me getting rid of the truck uh, the roads are just terrible because it is a new development area. There's, um, oh, the roads are just... Atrocious. Yeah. yeah, and then they get pulled up and they half do them and then there's... So the ride in those small trucks is just abysmal. And mm -hmm. you could probably spend some money on some suspension or something to make it better. Um, but it's just, it's really nice. I mean, it looks really good too. That's a, yeah, very surface level thing, but... The yeah. tray's amazing. Yeah, that I... That normal tray has just, it just sets the whole thing off. Mm -hmm. um, everyone that looks at it is uh, in awe of it, for lack of a better term. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's too good for me. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. You know, like I, I'm, I feel bad when I'm putting, throwing ramps in there or whatever. It's not too bad because there's a rubber mat in the back and yeah, the yeah. sides are all protected when they're down. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a good looking thing. That's a, some of the um, camping stuff, camping builds they do is. Well, they're more the, well. The, the sorts of people that would... I know, yeah. Th that's the dream, right? Someday. Be buying it. Someday. Yeah, any more questions there? Uh, no, somebody said hello. Somebody said love the podcast. Somebody, mate. Some... They're, mate they're, saying, they're being nice enough right. to say hello. Mm. You can't even acknowledge their name. Moose something. Moose Moose or said... Okay, we won't yeah, reply. Yeah, I won't yet. go there. All right. <laughs> that, see? You see? Somebody said hello. Hey, did you see... <laughs> do you watch the F1? I track it. I've got a niece and nephew and sister and family that are like absolute hardcore Formula One fans. I used to be when I was younger. Mm. I just don't have the time to fall. So I just check the results after, so to speak. Oh, okay. But what about their fun? Go on. What was that? What, what about? Sorry. I you, bought it, you bought Sorry, the topic up. So I'm you're asking... speaking Scottish again, mate. Nah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, they're in Melbourne this week. And I just yep. noticed on the track, they'd strike, you know, the the runoff areas you've got either like rocks or whatever yep. and then turf areas in, yeah they've in, done a good job they've uh yeah they striped up those areas nice. and, and imagine being that you know the people the, the crew that have got that all looking all nice and then someone runs through the rocks and then across and then you just got these tire marks yeah, going not, across they're not, i know but it's like imagine anything you put effort into yeah but that's the whole point of sports stuff right they'd make it look because the audience slash yeah, the, the sponsors want it looking spectacular at the start but if and you, then you got to watch it get absolutely decimated. But for if you're the making a soccer field or a football field look great, it looks you know pretty good for the whole match. But you know no yeah, one's I, doing a wheel spins on it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Anyway, I thought it looked interesting. If you got to get a wheel spin on your lawn, wouldn't it rather be a Formula One <laughs> car than anything else? I've actually been there two years ago. We're there for the Jim's um, family day. 
Okay, then, I thought you were talking about the Formula One races. No, well, You've I, been there well, for, but not there. It the was, same. It was a week or two before, and we were just uh, discovering around Melbourne mm-hmm. on scooters because e-scooters are you can hire them there. Yep. And we just got to the not not because we we're looking for it. We just stumbled across the the track, and then we're doing a lap of it. Yep. And it was around the time I started Turf and Tools, so it was kind of interesting because uh, they were working on the lawns and all that while we we're there, and they were using. Um, Battery stuff. Oh, like battery, yeah. Yeah, so they had battery right on the um, uh, mean green. Okay, yeah. Yeah, which th- those things look sick. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they I do. mean, they're super, super pricey and everything. Um, I also saw them with the Husqvarna, whatever they call their rotary scissor attachment for it. I'm not, okay. sure, I'm not sure what they call it. It was going along the... So they had all the, the, the top of the top equipment yeah, in terms was, of options. they were going yeah. along the, um, you know, on the... the Curbs? Concrete walls yep. that have got sponsors on them. He's, got it, he's got trimming it. the edges nice. with rotary scissors. And I nice. was like, I've actually got some video of it from back then, but that's just a little uh, aside. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's pretty much all I've got for this week. You got anything else? Oh, there's, there's always news, but I don't think the podcast needs to be three hours long. No. There's always. We're cutting it down to under an hour today. I don't think I'll have to make any cut. Oh, we're just hit an hour. No, there was think... a couple of cuts there when we were messing around. No, that's all right. We're just going to go raw with this thing. It okay. Was, it's a lot easier for me. I've got too much damn editing to do <laughs> no. to, to um, edit out our uh, mistakes. We, we didn't really say anything sort of completely inappropriate we've got to cut out so that's no a good i don't think it. so but thank you for joining us thanks guys um yeah please give us a follow on spotify google wherever you listen a review would be appreciated um if you just joined us or i don't know who would skip to the end well, a lot of people <laughs> may skip to the end a uh, couple couple of copies of lawn mowing simulator on switch to give away we're going to go through the five star reviews on all the platforms randomly draw two people which we'll announce in the next podcast but until next week, I hope you have a, a lovely week. I yep. already started the outro right before I stopped oh, talking. Oh, you're getting better at this. Still could have been <laughs> about 10 seconds earlier, but yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks, guys. Catch you next time.